how many people do we have? Playing alone, huh? Okay, can you give me your name? Okie dokie, have a look around and choose an episode. your buzzer. And hey, I was talking. All right, we're going. All right, I need a category. Hey! For your viewing pleasure, nursery crimes. You get this one, you pocket 2,000 bucks. Yeah, crime never ends, does it? Check out this APB the cops put out for a murder suspect. Suspect described as short and stout. Identifying characteristics are a handle and a spout. Maybe dancing to children's song. If spotted, proceed with caution. So, what character is the suspect here? Make me proud, type in your... I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here <laughs> is my spout. When I get all steamed up, I just shout, One step closer, copper! And this packet of sweet and low meets its maker! Throw me a category. All right, give it up for, I'll take a beer. The fairy tale is paying for it. How does $2,000 sound? Here's the question. Suppose you go to Mother Goose's Bar and Grill and order a prairie oyster. What will you most likely hear the bartender yell? Take it, it's yours! A prairie oyster is a drink that's made with a raw egg out of the shell. And after Humpty's done giving Yoke, he dances for dollar bills. Yeah, baby, over here! Come on, show me some albumin! Time to pick a category. And our special guest tonight, she's it, it's the Cartoon Cops. $3,000 for this one. One's a cat, one's a mouse. But the grand irony here is that whenever that darn little mouse pokes his nose out of his hole, Tom gets clobbered, or burned, or he explodes. Anyway, if Jerry joins the historical hole-in-the-wall gang, who would help him get tough? Go for it! Yeah, that's right. Jesse decided to forego the trains full of rich people and just focus his attention on whooping a cat with a frying pan. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, that'll make an exciting story, won't it? Butch Cassidy. Robber, rogue, cat hater, and head of the Hole in the Wall gang. Those guys were the train-thieving terrors of the Old West. Until they got spackled and painted over. All right, pick a category. The category is, this car has been rated NC-17. I got $2,000, says you don't know this one. One question coming right up. Say Volvo decides to come out with the Volvo Volva. It's yours if you want it. You're probably thinking of Volva with a U. Or maybe you're just confused because Volvos are so boxy. What do you say we check out the right answer? Oh, it sounds dirty, but the vulva is just a membrane found on fungi, usually young mushrooms. Of course, sometimes the young mushroom's membrane has been broken on a completely innocent horsey ride. Category, please. Uh-oh, fresh slut tits eyesore. It's time for a different fish best fun. One gibberish category coming up. Nancy solves the secret of the old pantry. What do you say to 5,000 bucks to start this gibberish question off? All right, listen up. Every second and a half, some of that cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to move quick. Tell me what well-known phrase this rhymes with. 
light a canned rat, pleads Drew, and just ignore the wacky punctuation. First clue, it's when somebody hurts somebody. It's when somebody hurts somebody who's there to help. Is Dr. Laura in trouble? Last clue, sure you fed me, but you're... Now's the time to type in your answer and hit that return. Here comes the choo-choo train. Here it comes. No, it's not carrots. It's a choo-choo train. chug a lug chug a lug Here it comes. <laughs> Ow! Give me a category. For your enjoyment, cats who walk erect. I'm gonna make this one a thousand bucks. And now, your question. Suppose a tomcat is out looking for some tail. What type of kitty is bound to disappoint the lusty feline? Come on, do it! Most Manx cats are tailless. So if the tomcat is looking for some tail, he's not gonna go there. Personally, I'll date any cat as long as it's been declawed. Throw me a category. <laughs> We're calling this one, repeat, the Orville has landed. You get it right, you get 2K. Wow. Do you realize it was over 30 years ago when man first walked on the moon? Hey. If the guys in the space module decided who would be first to walk on the moon the same way the Wright brothers decided who would be first to fly their plane, what would have ensued? Armstrong flipping a coin. Go for it! Before their historic flight at Kitty Hawk, the Wright brothers tossed a coin in the air to see who would be the pilot. If you're interested, Wilbur won. Houston, we have tossed the coin in the air. We are now waiting for it to come down. Still waiting. We are still waiting. Time to pick a category. This category is known as Somebody Smoke That Ham. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, you know the book Charlotte's Web, right? Hey, what doesn't say love if not a spider writing neat things about you in her web? Imagine Charlotte wrote her spider web messages to Take it, it's your In Pig Latin, the first consonant sound of a word is moved to the end of the word and A is attached after that. Unfortunately, Wilbur couldn't understand Pig Latin and had no idea what Charlotte was talking about when she wrote Orye Aiken Bay. All right, I need a category. It's time for a question again. Coming at you. At 46, I'm still the luckiest boy in the world. You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. Ah, Pee-wee Herman. Remember how on Pee-wee's Playhouse, he'd end each show by flying off on his bike? And I dare say, flying into our hearts? Well, suppose Pee-wee wants a buddy to join him on his airborne bike rides, because he's had plenty of... Go on, do it! Okay, see, now... If you had ever played the You Don't Know Jack TV trivia CD-ROM, you'd know better than to get me started on Hong Kong Fooey. <laughs> For the curious, here's the right answer. E.T.'s been known to fly a bike or two, so he could buddy up with Pee-wee, no problem. Hey, how about that? I made it all the way through a Pee-wee Herman question without making one single reference to masturbation. Somebody give me a hand. All right, pick a category. Well, look what you just happened upon, my little friend. You got yourself a this or that. And this this or that questions category is, I see London, I see France, I see dirty underpants. 
All right, I'm gonna read off these seven names on my list, and for each- Okay, you've been through this, I'm just gonna put your 30 seconds on the clock then. Let the games begin. Mark Wahlberg, Calvin Klein, or Fruit of the Loom? Antonio Sabato Jr. Michael Bergen. Paulo Suarez. The Apple Guy. The Green Grapes Guy. One more, the Purple Grapes Guy. Last one, hurry up and answer. That'd be seven. Hey, you got four right. Great job of guessing. Let's throw that onto your total. Well, it's better than losing money. Okay, let's go on. Give me a category. Let's have a big warm welcome for Suicide on the Rocks with a twist of lemon, please. If you know this one, you're getting 4,000 bucks. Eyes forward, we're going. Suppose instead of playing Russian roulette, you play black Russian roulette. If you lose, what will be all over the side of your head? It's yours if you want it. I'm sorry, did you say something? Uh, does this ring a bell? <laughs> the coffee liqueur known as Kahlua mixed with vodka makes a black Russian. Don't come near me. I'll do it. I swear I'll do it. Mmm, creamy. Category, please. Let's see what we got going. But can he make this boil on my butt disappear? I got $2,000 says you don't know this one. Okay, so this David Copperfield guy is big on making things disappear into thin air, right? Because, you know, that's what he does. Well, if David Copperfield were to make the subject of the book Into Thin Air disappear into thin air, what would vaporize through his magical majesty? Go for it! John Krakauer's Into Thin Air was a huge bestseller. It's about a doomed expedition to the top of Mount Everest. It is gone. Mount Everest has disappeared. All that remains is this giant hump covered by a black blanket. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. All right, pick a category. May I introduce, is it okay if I use Elton's John? 4,000 big ones for a right answer here. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Suppose during an Elton John concert, a candle in the wind splatters hot wax all over his outfit. If he's savvy, what will Elton make with the suit? A batik, a lithograph, an intaglio, or a patina? Take it, it's yours. You make batik by dyeing fabric with wax on it. The dye only soaks the portions without wax. Oh, and before I forget, if I hear that song one more time, someone's gonna have a really bad case of candle in the wind pipe. All right, I need a category. Open wide and get ready for three thingies in a fountain. You get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. Put your head between your knees because we're going down. What do the Iliad, baseball, and the Simpsons all have in common? Go on, do it! The Iliad was written by a guy named Homer. A home run in baseball is called a Homer, and the dad on the Simpsons is, say it with me, Homer. And all three also have a lot to do with scratching in public. Hey, why do you think the Greeks wore sheets all the time? Easy access. Well, you've made it to the jack attack. Here's the deal. If you see two words that go together, buzz in and you... All right then, let's fast forward and get right to the good part. Here comes your clue. I'm sorry, you have a daughter named... What? Don't worry, I'll get her home by midnight. Have fun.
about that one for a while. Let's check out the final score. That does it. Hey, congratulations. You learned some very important lessons out there today, most of which you'll forget in a couple of minutes. But don't forget this.